Hello guys, I will show you how to make a laptop skin very similar to this one. Basically all you will need is a picture of a laptop off the internet and Adobe Photoshop. It's not that hard to do and you will learn how to use the vanishing tool or vanishing point filter and here I go I grab a picture off the internet and I just copied it and if you can't tell that this is voiceover well, there you go. you're gonna want to open up a new uh, composition and name it laptop make sure it's clipboard then you can change the resolution to like 100 or so if you want but I'm not going to so you can just hit OK now what you're going to want to do is I just pasted it in and basically what we're going to accomplish is we're going to put this red background on and then we're going to paste the laptop on now we take our magic uh, your, uh, selection tool or whatever I can't magic selection wand and you want to delete the white area all around the laptop there and I moved it down a little bit so that you can see more of the laptop now you want to open up your design that you're putting on the back and what we're going to want to do is select all of it and we want to resize it to smaller remember while you resize it hold the alt key that way it is in perspective and its ratio is kept even though when you hit enter it reforms it but that's alright so you're going to want to hit enter and I go about copying it even though you don't have to considering you're going to probably be copying over this anyways so now you're going to want to click on layer 1 and we're going to duplicate it so that's control J and as you can see it created a new layer layer 1 copy now we'll go and rename layer 1 to laptop and then layer 1 copy I'll, write, I'll write, rename it to border but I'll really then rename it to trim I'm so smart okay now what we're gonna do is make the laptop image inverted so now it's gonna be inverted and it's gonna look pretty cool and then I go about uh, pausing it because I thought someone was coming and now what we're gonna do is I'm demonstrating how the inverted works and you can verify it what you're going to want to do is hide the trim layer by clicking the little eye piece as I will do shortly so that way you can see the inverted of the laptop layer and now the laptop's all pretty colors and dumbing it down it's called the x-ray effect for those of you who don't know anything about colors anyways so now what we're gonna do is as you have the trim layer selected you want to select the magic wand tool and up there uh, set the tolerance to 11 defaultly it's like 64 but just so you know and just get rid of all those layers where you're gonna put your skin and that's pretty much it there and I'm actually gonna be really picky and I'm going to take out my eraser and erase a bunch of smears that are on my physical laptop screen so they didn't come off at all okay I am now done erasing and now you're going to want to select your laptop uh, layer again and you're going to want to re-invert the color back to the regular color as you can see now it looks perfectly fine again now you want to just make sure you can hide and make the trim layer invisible and right now where my cursor is 
that changes color a little bit as I hide and re unhide it as I talk about visibility I guess you could say and now you're going to want to hit alt control alt V to open up the vanishing window and if your laptop or desktop or whatever is acting like mine it doesn't want to render anything correctly right now so you just have to give the vanishing point window a little shake and you're going to want to click on that tool, the only tool that's available and click on all four corners of wherever you're going to put as the plane has four corners now you're going to want to hit OK, it saves it once I hit OK and now pretty much what I'm going to do is something wrong I, I, I apologize, just don't even do this right now it's a waste of your time right there and I hit cancel and there we go this is what we do so now you gotta copy this image and I hit control C and now you wanna hit control alt V and control V to paste the picture in now you wanna click on the picture and drag it into it and if you notice how it snaps to the curvature of the picture and everything and now you're going to want to hit control T to resize it and it's a good idea to hold alt and just move it around place it the way you want it hopefully it'll zoom out there you go and you typically don't want to rotate it unless if your design has to be or you just want it to be and yeah I'm just playing around pretty much there because it was fine and I'll just end up going back to the same thing you know and there we go and now you hit enter and it should even close out of the vanishing point window there we go and there is your laptop pretty much so now I'm going to be coloring the background to normal so that shows white that is a pretty good representation of what it will look like except I just need to have it zoom out again and then um, there is some visible under layers from the top part but that's alright and right now I'm using the blur tool to make it look like it's a painted on picture airbrush whatever it's a pretty good idea to use the blur tool on this part it just looks so much better and you just go all around it specifically on the bottom part where the bezels and that's pretty much what it looks like and see now I'm going to erase it and it's going to turn red or no it won't because I just deleted the layer and then I'm just kind of demonstrating that it is a pretty laptop I must say I did not make the design that's my first one and I like the second one better I think I followed my own tutorial. The first one I did make a tutorial out of it, but it wasn't too good. And this one just works so much better. So, also, if you have any other questions or comments, just drop a comment in. Please, no hate, racist, or any other things. But, yeah, well, thanks, bye.